Hello everyone, my name is Balu and this is my sketchbook. We are continuing our creature creation smoothly and this week I had an amazing idea. Probably the best idea I ever had. So, as I said numerous times, I enjoy making creatures and coming up with the stories for them. But I'm also guilty of liking making weapons, such as those, and this, and yeah, this one. So basically I decided to not only make creatures based on three random choices from my Instagram <clears throat> Fuck, I have cat hair in my mouth um, But also to create a weapon based on that particular creature So, without further ado, let's begin our Creature Factory episode 2 Whoa. I have no idea why I'm making this spooky, it's not spooky Anyhow <laughs> Yeah. We begin our journey with Klaus, a young adventurer who asks much and hopes for every question to have more than one answer. Klaus is in the jungle right now, located on a small island which itself is part of the group of islands. He is looking for a chance to find and possibly obtain Hamelio's fins. For his crafting project. Okay, footsteps. According to my journal, those belong to. Let me see. Hmm. Here. <gasps> yes! Hamelio! Hamelios are predatorious creatures. Your oh, lord, should be careful. I don't know much about them. I should probably read more as well. It says Hamelios are predatory. No, I read that already. Here. Hamelios tend to live in small groups of about four to five. They are family type creatures and once they find a mate, they stay together for as long as they possibly can. Cute. Hamelions grow to about four meters long, from their head to the tip of their tail. One third of their whole length is taken by their strong tail, which they use to swim. Their height is about two meters when standing on all four. Jesus, that's a huge animal. Full-grown male Hamelios are about 300 to 350 kilograms. God, that is huge. Hamelios live on islands surrounded by ocean. Makes sense. I'm here on an island surrounded by ocean. They are great swimmers, though they don't go diving as much. Okay. They mostly hunt on land and as such are also fast runners. There are records of some Hamelios reaching the speed of what? 105 kilometers per hour? How is that even possible, considering their sheer size and mass? And a huge tail. Oh god, I don't want to be chased by one. Let's see what else. Their groups are called Honor. Okay, weird. And males are leaders, typically titled as Honor Born. If no male cub is born in the family, a male mate of one of the female cubs is accepted as an Honor Maid? A title that is given to male leader of the Honor. Though, though male must be deemed as worthy of a, such a title by previous honor bore or honor maid. I wonder how those initiations or rituals are held. And what are they anyway? I'd love to see those rituals in action. What's this? Rituals are held so other honors can see how a new honor maid is chosen. Place of the ritual is mostly always the jungle near the ocean, but what exactly is the ritual is nothing but a mystery. Other species and creatures are carefully kept away. This is the reason why no records of the rituals themselves are recorded anywhere. Whoa. Why is so much mystery around the rituals? Journal also says that even though rituals are never seen, what is known is that before Hamelio is chosen as an honor born or honor maid, their means are simply gold coloration, but after the ritual, they get those bluish lines on their manes, which probably proves of or shows that that Hamelio is the new honor born or honor maid. Now that's interesting. Apparently there are some mystic arts around those creatures. Not a surprise why they are thought after this much. I mean, they must have some magic in them if their fins are such a great weapon material. Okay, let's continue. Hamelios hunt mostly at night time. Great. Just perfect. It has to be night now. Their eyes are much better suited for night than the daylight, though sometimes they also hunt while the sun is high. 
it's basically if they are hungry, they eat. Well, makes sense. Hamelions tend to hunt in pairs, though while cubs are small and need to be looked after, male Hamelion hunts alone. After they are old enough to hunt, both parents take them on hunting sessions, but always in pairs. And... Sh shit, what was that sound? Oh, oh no, oh, oh shit, I think... I think I saw one, and being one that is... Shit, lucky me! It's an honor born! Or honor made, I have no idea, who cares? I'm in big trouble right now. Shit! This is where Klaus had to be more careful. A pair of Hamelios were out on hunting session, and it seemed that it was a pair of parents. Klaus needed to be as quiet as he could, and if he really wanted those fins, making a trap was his best choice. Taking one Hamelio is already a hard task on its own. Fighting two? Well, that was a suicide. But Klaus was a smart boy, crazy and from time to time reckless, but nonetheless quite an intelligent one. He carefully planned his next step and reached out for his true goal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kinda... <laughs> I'm so proud of this. <laughs> At first I thought I would make two creatures in one video and... But then decided not to. As I adore and I simply adore uh, making creatures and making weapons, I wanted to com combine them in one. And I was thinking a lot what could I do and then I remembered that Monster Hunter is basically that. You hunt monsters and take their shit and train, make cool shit out of them. Well, generally speaking. So I decided to do that. Which means, next up is not another creature, but, sorry, he helps, but also a weapon <laughs> that you technically can craft from hunting this uh, creature. And I also wanted to add a bit of D&D flavor to it. Um, so yeah, I um, remembered that you can actually harvest most of the creatures in the D&D, well, quote of own D&D universe, and use their um, bits and parts to make weapons, such as in Monster Hunter as well. Like, you can use dragon scales to make dragon armor, and like, you know, if you play D&D, you know. Yeah, basically, if you play any MMO and most of the role any RPG games, most of them are like that. Um, so yeah, uh, this was for like brief uh, thing about the Hamelio itself. I enjoyed making him, oh well, eat, I should say. Um, because, well, <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I had to combine uh, Hammerhead Shark, Lion, and Butterfly. And as soon as I read that, that was, well, I, I knew I had to use those creatures like in already in past week. That's why I was excited in the previous video. And if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. Um, I was excited because combining Shark and Lion is so cool of an idea. And also adding a Butterfly. Um, as soon as I saw those creatures, I thought about using mainly lion's body and adding a shark tail on it. I know, not like the the craziest of ideas, but hey, it was cool on the lens. Um, at first I also thought to keep the lion's head fully and only implement the tail, but then I remember that the one definition from one defining feature from the shark a hammerhead shark from any other shark is that it has the weird hammer head that's why it's called hammerhead shark so if i did not use the hammerhead's head then it would not be using that particular type of creature at all so it would not count so i changed the head after to be more of a hammerhead's head but kept lion's mane and lion's like main body uh, and I did not have wings from the butterfly because I kinda thought that would look a bit goofy though I could work out and make it um, some way to work, I don't know. Uh, so because of that I used butterfly as a color scheme for the whole creature. Yeah. Okay, now let's move to the weapon itself. Gold Mane's Fin Blades are crafted magic or pair of blades with a unique power inherited in them. One who wields those blades requires to be quite an agile and swift fighter. Those blades are based on speed and if used accordingly will grant quite a massive amount of power. 
As its unique power, Goldmane's fin blades grant much swiftness and wild swimming. Those who wield those blades have said that in water those blades act as if they have sentience. Already well versed swimmers become much better and those who lack talent in swimming suddenly gain one. Golden Mane's fin blades are considered to be really rare magical items. And that's it! Um, the idea behind those blades were that as soon as I thought about making weapon out of the creature, I thought, okay, I do enjoy mostly making blades or, or like swords, but I didn't want to make like typical sword. So because of that, I was thinking about, okay, let's make it a blade, but not like typical sword. And I wanted to make it as a set, as a pair. And as soon as I decided that I would use fins as blades, because they kind of <laughs> look like blades anyway already, I remembered Power Rangers Wild Force, the Blue Ranger, the Shark Dude, has weapons in in shape of uh, those like side blades i don't know like in shape of things and that was a huge inspiration for me for those weapons so yeah i basically know that <sighs> I, there are so many ways this can go and evolve like you know, this whole creatures and weapons side by side and stuff and i can't wait to see what will become of this also, making creatures like this and weapons based on them is a great storytelling opportunity. Maybe next time we will continue watching over Klaus and see what he stumbles upon next, provided that he survives them. Well, well that is for the dice to decide. <laughs> I want to make this somewhat of a DD adventure in so and see what each character will do based on growing dice. So whatever dice decides, that shall be the fate of our adventures. That said, thanks to everyone who joined me on this epic quest well it's the beginning of the epic quest if you like this and want to see more subscribe as always it's it is much appreciated and also don't forget to like and leave a comment saying what do you think will close your life or uh, not <laughs> and also what should the next creature be give me toys to play with and i will talk with you all next time bye <laughs> bye